This video is about rewriting formulas and equations. A formula is an equation that relates two or more quantities, usually represented by variables. So you've probably used formulas before, especially in geometry, when you have to do things like finding the area of a circle or the circumference of a circle. Solving for a specific variable means rewriting the equation so that the variable is isolated on one side and doesn't appear on the other. So there's an example given here. Solve c equals 2 pi r for the variable r. This is the circumference formula. And we're not actually going to be able to figure out what r is. We don't have enough information here. All we're asked to do is isolate the r on one side of the equation. So I'll rewrite this equation. And if I want to isolate that r, what I'm going to have to do is move the 2 and the pi to the other side of the equation. Because the operation that's shown is 2 multiplied by pi multiplied by r, I want to do the inverse of that to cancel out the 2 pi. Because it's all multiplication, I'm going to use division, which is the inverse of multiplication, and I can get rid of the 2 and the pi in the same step by dividing both sides by 2 pi. On the right side of this equation, 2 pi divided by 2 pi is just a 1. And so now the r is effectively isolated. There's just a 1 in front of it. So I'm going to bring down my r. And what does it equal? It equals the entire expression on the other side of the equation. c divided by 2 pi. There's no real way to simplify that, so I'm going to leave it as c over 2 pi. And that's how you isolate a variable in an equation or a formula. Solve for the indicated variable in this formula is a little bit trickier. We're asked to solve for b2, which is different, a whole different variable from b1. So to isolate that b2, we're going to have to remove the 1 half, we're going to have to remove the h, and we're going to finally have to remove the b1. But the last thing we're going to be able to do is get inside those parentheses and move the b1. So I'm going to write the equation a little bit larger. And we want to get rid of the 1 half and the h. It doesn't particularly matter which one you do first. I'll get rid of the 1 half first. To get rid of a 1 half, you can multiply both sides of the equations by its reciprocal, which is 2 over 1. On the right side, the 2 over 1 multiplied by the 1 over 2 becomes a 1, and so we don't have to show it. And on the left side, 2 over 1 times a is just 2a. Bring down what we have left. We still have to keep those in parentheses because there is this h outside of it, which would be multiplied by them. To get rid of the h, I want to use division, since what is shown is multiplication, right? h next to the parentheses is multiplication. So I'm going to divide by h to do the inverse. Make sure you do to the other side, whatever you do to the right. The h's just give us 1, and so we don't have to show that. I'm going to bring down what I have left, 2a over h. And now I don't have to show the parentheses anymore because there's no other operations happening on the right side of the equation but b1 plus b2. Because I was asked to isolate the b2, I want to get rid of b1. I'm going to do that by subtracting, which is the inverse of addition, and subtracting from this side as well. Now, on the left side of the equation, it's looking a bit complicated, but there's nothing for that b1 to combine with. So we just have to write all in a row exactly what we have. 2a on top over h, that entire fraction, minus b1. There's no nicer way to simplify that. Equals b2. And this is an acceptable final answer. There's no need to get a common denominator or do any simplifying on the left. You're simply asked to isolate the b2, which we have done. You can use the same approach to transform linear equations. And this is going to be very helpful when we get into graphing linear equations, learning how to get y by itself. So to get y by itself in this linear equation it means we need to move everything that's currently on the left side of the equation with y to the other side. I'm going to start by moving the entire x term, which is 13x. It's not attached to the y, right? So I can just subtract them away to move them to the other side, which means they're gone for the left side of the equation. 13x minus 13x would be 0. I'll bring down what I have left, which is negative 4y. Make sure that minus sign is attached to that 4. And then on the right side of the equation, just because it's common form, I'm going to bring down the negative 13x first and then put the constant term after it y is almost isolated. It currently has a negative 4 being multiplied by it, so the last thing I need to do is divide by negative 4 to get rid of it and isolate the y. I need to divide the entire other side of the equation by negative 4. These cancel out to give us 1, bring down the y. There are many ways you can write the final answer here. In fact, you could even leave it exactly as it's written, but I'm going to do some simplification. I see a negative 13x over a negative 4. 
So I can simplify that to just positive 13 over 4. A negative over a negative is positive with the x next to it. And then I also have a 9 divided by a negative 4. And that doesn't simplify very nicely, but I can write it as minus, rather than a positive over a negative, minus 9 over 4. And this is a final answer. And that is all.